everyone, I am Neaxianak, and this is my Let's Play of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So, I'm back in the PvP matches, and this is my, I call it my Peter Griffin uh, preset of puddles. So, I apologize because I've only kind of found out after I made about, I don't know, 70 of these uh, 10 match videos of just how quiet it actually is, because my... My new computer has a very good, high-quality sound card to it, so sometimes when things get too quiet, it uh, kind of automatically makes things more audible. And uh, I didn't realize, like, I've, I mean, I've watched some of them, and stuff like that, and they're, and they're plenty fine, but my computer will, qu uh, will quiet things further if I'm watching a video while having a different video in the background, which... I do surprisingly fast. So anyway, I'm facing off against this person. Um, I guess it's my first recorded match. And, uh... Yeah, so... The gimmick with this preset is obviously he's super durable. Um, or at least his gimmick is hit point regeneration between the uh, Super Soul and the fact that he has Quick Sleep on. Uh, he does have his high damage option. I kind of tend to use him as a troll build. Usually is my way of saying I'm not interested in this fight for people who keep challenging me. Although I don't really necessarily need him specifically. So, um... Uh, what else to say about Alright, well, anyway... So, yeah, as I said, I have a lot of these videos right now. Uh, so, going for... So, yeah, since I've been recording since January of this year. No, no not January, it was February. So, yeah, but I'm making this commentary recording much uh, later. It's uh, currently April. What the month this is? I, I don't know. Time goes so fast for me at this point. But anyway, yeah, um... Special Beast Cannon, or Beast Go Hunt Special Beam Cannon. It's great for catching people just completely off guard. So, and once it hits you, it locks you in the attack, so there's no chance of evading out of it or anything like that. So naturally, people love using it in PvP, but not apparently as much as Times 4 Kamehameha. That's basically, it's not a real PvP build unless you have Times 4 Kamehameha and Soaring. So this, speaking of PP, oh yeah, and I do also have to apologize, uh, some of my earlier videos have this, it took me a while in order to get my um, OBS set up properly, you'll notice uh, in some of these earlier videos, probably for the next couple of weeks, that uh, the quality just kind of goes in and out, I didn't uh, figure out how to fix that until much later. I also do have a proper editing program, but I have no idea how to use it right now. Uh, even this far in, I haven't bothered using it, but that's something I intend to do soon, so hopefully I can get some actual, like, basic video editing done. Add stuff like titles and other effects. The way, I, the way I do this video is that I just re-record the video off of... Uh, holy crap, the black spam that I just did. Anyway, so, what was I talking about? I swear, I'm trying to go, I don't have a script for this, I'm just kind of going off, uh, just kind of going off the top of my head, and I just kind of blank to the point where I think I have dementia sometimes, seriously. I do eventually get better about the blocks, ma'am. Although, about that, I have found out that apparently under some circumstances it'll actually, like, correct your position, so that if you... So if someone's trying to circle around you, and it can actually, like, have your character face them. So there is some purpose to it, but not nearly as egregious as what I've been doing in this video. At least at this point. And he really likes, uh... 
Yeah, as of now, I have um, somewhere north of 800 uh, recorded fights. And I was going to say something about that, and I just completely forgot. Well, in any case, um, this uh, a PvP preset for puddles. PvP preset hasn't changed that much. I honestly don't remember what skills I had equipped. I know the idea of the same. He basically has, he basically has two modes, and he has the, uh, in that he can fight just fine without the. Uh, what was I saying? He has two. Mo he has a uh, uh, two fighting modes apparently, where he, one where he utilizes his um, his awoken like he is now, and another where he doesn't. Oh yeah, I was saying I had 800 and something recorded fights, so I don't necessarily. So when I make these videos, sometimes they've been sitting for a while, and I don't necessarily remember any fights. So I'm gonna try to kind of commentate on it. So some of them I'll remember more than others, but I'll, some of these uh, will seem kind of newish to me. Especially some of these early ones. Okay, but anyway, um, so yeah, he, he has the EEEE -E 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 Super Soul, uh, that, uh, just basically gives him some huge improvements to his, uh, Purification Awoken, which makes it far more dangerous than he usually is. I'm going for Body Change, because that's not something I normally use. I don't even know why I went through it, I think just because I, just because I could and throw him off or whatever. But yeah, um, without using purification, he does ha uh, his do or die and fighting pose J just kind of give him added durability. Uh, do or die giving him uh, slightly larger uh, resistance to damage, which of course stacks with the Majin resistance to damage, which I think is 25%, 20, 25 or something, somewhere around there. And uh, Fighting Pose J, Fighting Pose J just gives him uh, uh, advanced stamina regeneration, which honestly I feel is like an even bigger perk than probably uh, the Fighting Poses that gives. Well, I mean, the Fighting Poses that give Super Armor are great, but anyone that knows how to get around them can get around them pretty easy. I don't know who I'm trying to. The thing I dislike most about how the, uh, the combat in this game operates is uh, just sometimes my character will just decide to. Airbox in the opposite direction of my opponent. It's not the fact. It's not to mention the fact that since I moved, um, I now no longer can't like connect my router directly. So I'm assuming, and I'm assuming that's the source of a lot of the lag I have to experience. On top of the lag that's normal in this game, but I seem to just have it really bad with most people, and it's. Holy crap, it can be bad sometimes. The worst lag I ever faced was even a person in my own, like, U.S. state. I, I live in Texas. The only other person I know that I fought in Texas had the worst lag I've ever fought. So, although that probably says a lot about the kind of uh, service providers that exist in Texas, so it's more than anything. Probably additionally about netcode, uh, I don't know. As Burkle would say, a win is a win, a loss is a loss. Certain other people would say it's a skill issue. I'm sorry, I'm just admiring the uh, the outfit he's wearing. It's like it's like a, it's a beach body except he's wearing a jacket. And it, oh yeah, I'm Bruce Deathkeep. Oh, grab spamming. Of course, the time.
I'm running out and I have so much more health than he does. Yeah, um... One of the main weaknesses of this particular PvP build, I guess, more than anything else, is just the fact that, uh, one, I, have, I would have to set up a lot of these things. Fighting Post J has a super short duration. And of course, to maintain it, I would have to either expend experience in order to activate my very fabulous evasive, or I would have to use do or die, which uh, expends key. He, he does not uh, regenerate key any faster than anybody else that can do evasive sometimes. Here and wait. I mean, you can send those key, uh, key blasts all you want. It's not going to do much. I just figured it out. It would help if I actually aimed in the proper direction. out of stamina. Of course it would help if I actually dodged any of these attacks, but... You know, you can move out of the way, it's not actually that hard to do. Is, if there's definitely a favorite attack, the two favorite attacks of anyone in this game is Emperor's Death Team and Times Four. There is formerly known. Sorry, I was going to say formerly known as Division, but that doesn't exactly make any sense. You're going to attack, you're just going to sit there and recover your. I suppose my Beerus isn't much different. Oh, and I'm aiming was slightly off. I probably could have gotten him to his last bar of health if I had actually hit, but obviously it didn't, so... See, at least he knows how to actually properly, uh... He's not, at least as far as I can tell, just sitting around and uh, dark spamming like I did in one of the earlier matches. He's actually... Quite efficient. Also not jumping around the, uh, the battlefield super aggressively like people who look like they know what they're doing. tactic and uh, one that's usually fairly effective against me if I'm being honest with myself. I'm honestly surprised though about how effective Saturday Morning Crash is at actually um, targeting an opponent. And you would think I'd figure out how to block by now. Apparently not. In any case, because my 
had a health lead and I wasted it because I used too much of my stamina. But he's going to get and he's going to win the match. Great, unless I can bring this home somehow. Start of the match from the white screen uh, to the white screen again. See, and this is an example of a person that's much more aggressive. Not even on your last bar of health or something like that. I swear, just watching certain people fight in this game just tires me out. I think I'm a full bar of health. point I think I've just given up against him. Don't care anymore. And believe me, uh, that whole process will have its entire own video series. I think I have four videos. Honestly, though, um, so the reason why I'm starting off this, uh, my return to PvP with Cuddles is because after the Festival of Universes tournament and the uh, level increased to 20, and uh, kind of a mistake I made with save editing and kind of ruined uh, part of the UI for me or something like that, I decided just to completely remake all of my characters, which involves essentially just restarting the, uh, all of their characters in the beginning, doing the story mode, getting whatever I needed from them, everything, basically. So, save editing only in, like, uh, uniforms, um, QQ bangs, just, so, just to avoid grinding. So I could, even though I didn't need to, so I could level up the characters via Tosak. But in any case, the first character I came back with is this one. Um, 
forget who was number I forget who was my one that was Apollo. I think I would I think it was Cuddles, Lilla, Ace, Kerbal. I, I don't remember. It doesn't really matter. well actually I guess I can just watch out. Because I did PvP with them shortly after getting them to 120. Although I put the most work into Cuddles, Graval, and currently putting work into Kaldaris, my first character in this game, who is the last one to be revived in this, because I'm doing a story mode series on that one, and I'll be going through parallel, Z-ranking parallel quests with them. So I'm getting the, uh, the background music from uh, the Ludo Kai 3 soundtrack from Even, even though I made it as quiet as possible, you can't really even hear what's going on in the video, and I really don't like that, and I'm really not looking forward to the fact that most of my videos are going to be like this for the foreseeable future. So, the most recent PvP fights I have, I'm doing um, in full volume, especially because uh, I set up uh, OBS to record more quietly, just so my voice could actually like overcome it, because I think my microphone is a little bit too quiet, and I'm not entirely certain why that is. So I'm going to be playing around with settings uh, to try to get things right. So, because my sound card is Sound Blaster AD-9, it has its own like little console I have uh, just beside my keyboard and stuff, and that's where I plugged my microphone into, um, but I'm kind of wondering offhand if I would get better volume if I plugged it into the motherboard, and I might try that in the next video I do. So, in any case, um, Cuddles is my first return video, and then I'm going to just go through the other characters as they come. So in this iteration, Cuddles is a key blast character. And he is surprisingly good at it. And that's the end of that. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Take care and see you next time.